Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing? This is your favorite Nigerian American vlogger on YouTube. How are you doing? I hope that you guys are doing okay. I hope that you guys are doing great. So today I wanted to use it as an opportunity to share more education about me just learning how to just maneuver the Nigerian ways. <laughs> so today I'm going to use this as a perfect opportunity to teach you guys about stove and gas, which is if you guys are not used to it. So when I lived in Nigeria when I was younger, um, we, I lived in not necessarily like a developed area. I kind of lived slightly lower class and we didn't use gas stoves or any of this stuff. We used like wirewood. And I don't know if you guys can remember, you guys that are a little bit older, my grandma used what they call a kerosene stove. It's like this green square stove. You pour, you buy kerosene and you put the kerosene and it has those little wools that you can like put and wind up. And then when you light the match, you line up the wools that's drenched inside of the kerosene. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain. I don't even know if the youngsters even know what I'm talking about. The only reason why I was exposed to this is because when I came from US to Nigeria when I was younger, I lived with my grandma. So I got to learn all the like older way of doing things. So I literally had was raised by my grandma for a little while before I went back to the US. But anyway, so even though I was exposed to Nigeria when I was younger, I'm still not even familiar with gas. And I don't know how it works in Europe, but in US, we actually have a gas company. And I don't know if people that are not living in US are watching this. Maybe if you're Nigerian watching this. In US, what typically happens is we have a gas company, like an electric company, like a water company. And we pay them monthly for whatever we use. So there's usually like a closet that has a big thing and it happens automatically. I don't even know how it's happening. So usually you just turn on your thing and it turns on. There's no any type of change in gas or anything that I've ever done. And the other apartments that I've lived at, um, it's usually like electric stove. Like it actually runs on power. So we had electric stove or gas stove. Either whatever way you're doing, you have to pay a bill every month based upon what you're used to this company. But Nigeria being such a self-sustainable country, you actually have to do a lot of things yourself. So a lot of the self-sustainability things that we're trying to do in Green Paradise, I think people are already doing it on an individual level. Um, and this is not new. A lot of people are producing their own water by digging their own borehole. A lot of people are producing their own uh, electricity by using generator and maybe a little bit of solar nowadays. And people are also have to be responsible for their own gas to bring it in their house. So today I was trying to cook and I noticed that my gas thing was not working. So then I was like, oh, I think my gas tank is out and we don't replace it very often. So today I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to do this myself so I can learn how to do it. I think when I first came here, I just had a lot of people help me. But now I'm seasoned in Nigeria. One of the ways where we've been able to bring the cost of living low is to not do Airbnbs, not do hotels, it's for us to get an apartment and learn how to live like a local Nigeria. So yeah, so, and if you guys hear my um, English, you guys will see that it's evolving. Instead of saying local, I said local. <laughs> Instead of saying water, I say water. So I'm even trying to adjust even the way that I speak to pronounce things the way they pronounce things here. I think when people hear me talking, you guys don't know that I'm actually trying to force myself to speak the ninja way <laughs> i'm just much more comfortable speaking this way okay anyway so let's get to it so typically usually if i have to turn on this thing i have a lighter and what i do is as i'm turning this on i put the lighter close to the stove and i turn it on so usually i'll go like this and the light will come on but now it's not coming on we even have a fancy system here that's somehow connected there's a lighter so if we press it like this and turn it on, the lights will come on, but nothing is coming on. So that gives me the indication that our gas tank in the back of the house is empty. We've used it all up. So I am going to go show you guys how to unhook it and we're going to take it to where they sell gas. I'm going to replace it, bring the other one back and then we'll go from there.
All right, guys. So for this specific apartment, by the way, when you guys get an apartment, you always have to ask them where the tank is. Some people's tanks are in their kitchen. Sometimes it's on the balcony. But I love when the tank is completely outside of the house. But anyways, guys, let me show you guys ah, our tank. So um, I already kind of know which one is our tank. So we have kind of four apartments here. But this one is our own right here. Uh, uh. Okay, so let me fix this wire. So one thing that I was definitely asking if the other everybody else's tanks look so good <laughs> and mine has a lot of rust on it um, but I heard that it's actually dangerous to have the rust on it I'm not sure of the legitimacy of that I think it looks decent but what I'm thinking is that I might just change it and replace it because I had to look on YouTube to figure out like um, does this things expire how does one know when to change it so they were guiding us on where to find the answers I couldn't find it but I did find something here that said tested date was July 2015. So I'm figuring out like, okay, well, based on my research, it's, it l seems that your tank should not exceed five to eight years and you need to replace it because it can be dangerous. So I counted 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So it looks like it's seven years, so it's probably time to change. Um, Cost-wise, we're going to find out, but so far I'm hearing that it used to cost 10K, but now it's 25K, which is, um, we're going to find out. So anywhere like 20 to 40 bucks or something like that. So we're going to find out. And then to fill this whole tank, I think would be about, I don't know, 10,000 Naira. Again, we're going to find out what all of that is. Okay, so now let me show you guys how to. So typically, this connects directly to the kitchen. So I'm going to show you guys how to unhook it. So again, this is my level of progression. Usually, I have my guy that I'll call. They just come in and they replace it. But I'm trying to learn how to do things myself. So this is like off. Actually, this is off the green one. And this is on so it seems the on is red and the off is green initially in my mind though our green naturally means go to me <laughs> so i was thinking green is on red is off anyways so in order to even i think this is a safety mechanism so in order to be able to remove it you have to turn it off so and then you press this button you push down and then you push up so just like this all right so yeah so it's that simple now ugh, we're gonna take this tank to go get it filled up or potentially get it replaced. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's going in the trunk. Ugh. All right, guys, let's go. A hiccup. As I was trying to start the car, the car would not start. Dang it. So we need to go find a battery person. It's either the alternator, the starter, or the battery. One of them. Or the actual, yeah, or the start ignition. Because the car is turning on, it's switching, but it's not cranking up. So let me try it again. Maybe you guys will give me good luck. Yeah. So what I did was that I tried, I've been trying this, so you guys are my good luck charm. So what I did was I just held the key a little bit longer and then pumped and now it worked. Woo! <laughs> All right. All right. Off we go. We're going to get this gas today. Dang it. All right. I'll see you guys. All right, guys, so um, so we actually have two choices when it comes to getting gas, or three. Usually, I'll just call my guy, like, hey, our guy, I'm out of gas. He will bring his own thing, he refills the gas, he goes. 
Option number two, you go to people on the street or in the market or people nearby to buy the gas. And then option number three, you go to a gas station. But since I'm trying to show you guys the ofi most official way, um, I'm going to take you guys to the gas station. All right. So there is multiple um, gas stations around this place. By the way, I think in Nigeria, they call it petrol station or fuel station. Um, but I'm so used to calling it gas station. But now that we're going to go get gas, <laughs> I feel like it's well fitting to say gas station. So not all gas stations have gas. So I'm going to the first one that's around my area to see if they have gas there. And if they don't, then I'll go to the other one. Um, and there's some benefits to doing that. I think they can just punch in the numbers and you can see it. This gas station is by the mall and there's a shortcut that I always take here. So I'm taking that shortcut today and I see the sign already. It has like a green theme. I forgot what it's called. Maybe it's NNPC or something. Hopefully they have it too. Hopefully they have it. Um, so by the way guys, I am in the Oniru Victoria Island area. Um, it's a little bit, it's very calm in this area. As you guys can see, the streets is not overly crowded. It's open. People are just chilling, working, walking. There's some pedestrians on the streets. I love living in this area. It's very chill and it's close to a lot of things. Uh, so yeah, if you guys ever come to an Airbnb, just know this gives you a rough idea of the area. It's very close to the mall. So I'm going to the gas station that's close to the mall. And then Lekki Ekpa Expressway is on the other side over there. All right, let me see the name. So I see the gas station name is called AP or whatever. Let's see here. Oniru, AP Oniru. I don't know if they do. I don't know if they do. I have people on the other side. Oh, I see gas. Well done, Aga. We won't buy gas, so shit. We, we know if we get them, we know if we come out through here. Huh? No, for gas for, for cylinder, for cooking. You know they refill. You guys, they just sell the tank. Oh, okay. How much be one tank? We go, we go drive the other side, I mean. Okay, all right. Guys, I saw some gas tanks over there. You guys see it's brand new. We might have to get a brand new one, but I wanted to show you guys how to fill. Um, so, um, with this gas station, the challenge is that they've blocked it off for people not to access the highway. So we have to go around on the highway to access where the gas is. I didn't want to deal with um, these guys because I might as well deal with the direct source. Ah, uh, what way should I take? Oh, I actually think it's better for me to go the other way so that I can be perpendicular to the gas station. I actually want to see how much these guys are selling their stuff, even if they don't refill. And then just for the sake of pleasing you guys, then I'll have to go to another gas station to try to get a fill, just to go through the proper way of doing it. I think I am on the other side. Actually, this is a completely different gas station. Oh, wait a minute. This is a different gas station. This one is called Total Energies Lucky One. So this one is right beside the mall. As you guys can see, ShopRite is over there. So this one is right beside the mall. So I don't think that these people would have gas. What do you think, sir? They don't have Okay. They're selling oil. Okay. So this didn't lead to where I thought it would lead. Anyways, enjoy the Ninja vibes. Total energy solutions. I'm trying to see. Okay. All right, guys. There's no gas here. Keep driving around with me, guys, on the streets of Lagos. Ooh, that's deep over there. Okay. So let's go to the next gas station. Actually, when you go to Lekki Ekpe Expressway. Oh, Ozumba and by the way, I be on no, Ozumba and by the way. <laughs> There's actually a gas station in Ozumba and by the way. If we go outside and exit from this mall, 
So I'm gonna try to go there um, and see what's happening. Okay. By the way, it is way, way, way much more. <laughs> I'm using a lot of words together that's not supposed to be used together. <laughs> way much more. But anyways, it's drastically more effective or uh, more efficient to drive with an SUV in Nigeria. Forget it. A small car, there's so many potholes, there's so many bad roads. It's definitely more fun to drive with an SUV. This is an international school, by the way. I think a British uh, curriculum type school is here. Very highly secured school by the mall. And if you guys see the camera going up and down, it's because we are going through a whole bunch of dooka doo dooka doo. <laughs> All right, just giving you guys a tour around. There's a big access bank corner over there. There's some big office spaces here. Abi yo no zumba by the way. Abi yo no zumba by the way. Abi yo no zumba by the way. Oriental Hotel, by the way, guys. So if you guys ever see people vlogging about Oriental Hotel, that's it. A lot of movie stars do their shootings over there. So that's a majestic Oriental Hotel. I went to go eat breakfast there before. Very expensive, and the food was not that great. But no. <laughs> um, okay, I think I'm getting close to the highway here. The trick now is I'm wondering if I should go to the other gas station or the other gas station. Let me just, uh, if I go to the other one, I think they would have it there. It's usually crowded. Hmm, decisions, decisions. You know what? I will go to the one by the school that I, my daughter used to go to. Let's go there. So guys, we are on like your car expressway i think ozumba and badway i finally learned that ozumba and badway and like your expressway merges i didn't know that for a long time so i think ozumba and badway is like this road that way and like your expressway is like this all the way to aja so there's a lot of traffic here i got good now go 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 That's Oriental Hotel. Very fancy hotel. Huge. All right, we're going through the toll gate. Oh, by the way, there's a Norja Love Festival happening. There goes a, um, a little bit of advertisement for it over there. It's like a Jalof Festival where you can go and check out. And what is this? Another Brimo Live. So there's a concert that's being advertised over there at Landmark Beach. And political campaign for Babajide Sonwolu, governor of Lagos State and ah guys this is what me no like about Lagos traffic <laughs> why is there traffic at 1 p.m. in the afternoon it's not even rush hour but I know why there's actually traffic on this side the reason why there's traffic on this side is that Admiralty is a very popular street you guys have watched my video you guys know i like just driving on admiralty because it has everything so i think the merge to admiralty is what causes this traffic because some people are trying to go in at the last minute and some people are merging so this traffic shouldn't actually take too long 
unless there's something major going on in the front so let's hope it doesn't go happen too long um i probably better stay on the right side and to kind of avoid this but it looks like all the roads are blocked it's probably from people merging too so let me see if i can so one thing that's unique guys that i've been seeing as you guys are going along the journey with me um you guys know that netflix obviously is killing it right now with african influence there's a whole bunch of nigerian very high production on netflix youtube is obviously doing well because of a lot of influencers are using youtube as their a lot of actors and producers movie directors or just aspiring actors are using youtube to also expand their viewership like people like brother shaggy mr macaroni yawa de yawa skits but one thing that i have been seeing in nigeria recently lately is prime video i pay attention to a lot of different things it's because i saw a sign of prime video there so it seems that amazon is also wanting to tap into the nigerian african market when it comes to video i've already seen prime videos i think there was a banner that i saw there's actually like a nigerian movie that prime video is have a banner pushing so now i just saw rings of power another promotion of prime video so um everybody is trying to get a piece of the pie <laughs> i think there's a few um online streaming services that's also african based nigerian based like iroko tv i don't know if they're doing how well they're doing or if they have exclusive rights or if, Amazon, or if netflix is just killing it but anyways that's just a random observation so i am expecting to see in the next year or two years a big push for nigerian production on amazon we'll see how that works out so it's time for me to merge and by the way guys in nigeria people don't give you space you have to take it <laughs> yourself so that's what i'm getting ready to do here i'm used to it so i'm gonna merge and i'm going to try to merge to the other side um, so you have to have a little bit of uh, what's the word you have to have a little bit of courage to drive in nigeria or else you're gonna be scared that you're going to hit someone's car or somebody's going to hit your car but occasionally people are nice and this is me hopping into this guy's front <laughs> really fast. if you guys were driving now you'd think that i'm driving crazy but that's just how you have to do what you got to do in nigeria um, you have to learn how to cut people off in a way that they have time to still adjust to not hit you but it's like a very like small window and i've watched people drive sometimes you're just going inch by inch and sometimes you have to make a decision and commit you can't hesitate but anyways i'm in the middle of all this car sometimes they push you a little bit out because they don't want to give you space and i'm gonna enter this guy's front too Ooh, so close <laughs> uh, guys if you guys saw the space that i just entered it's like so little but i'm so used to it i don't even think twice about it and you guys see here's how you know it's part of the culture those two guys that i just cut off nobody honked at me <laughs> it's because that's just what they expect and that's just what's happening so guys just like that i have literally made it to almost the extreme lane but also you have to watch out for this just as you are cutting people off people are also going to cut you off so even me like that bus just cuts me off i am uh you get used to that Ooh, i hope this guy sees me and people use their honk a lot because of those type of situation he was not paying attention but uh so typically honk is the language of driving here so even when somebody's not paying attention i have to honk if i even think that somebody wants to merge i have to honk Every, everybody's honking <laughs> okay. even for when it's not necessary but anyways that is uh you guys following along with me i actually love this video i love that you guys are hanging out with me on a friday morning um the beauty 
of me having um, online work with people that are still in US is that it gives me time during the day to run errands, to attend to my real estate stuff, farm stuff, do a lot of the stuff that I need to do during the day um, before people wake up in US. So like right now, it's roughly 1 p.m. So that means in US, they're six hours behind. So that means it's roughly like, uh, I would say, so 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. So it's roughly 7 a.m. But the people in California, it's like 4 a.m. And if you're in the East Coast, it's probably like 8 a.m. So people are literally just waking up. So typically, I like to have finished all of my errands by like 2, 3 p.m. And then I work from like 3, 4 p.m. to like 10 or 12 p.m. at night. And then I try to sleep and then I repeat it. I love, love it because if I'm in the U.S., usually I wake up with stress. Because <laughs> I wake up, I have to go either I have to take a shower because I have to start like at 7, get my day ready. But here I can relax, chill a little bit. Um, and then do all my errands, even take a nap and then start my day at like 2 or 3. Um, but... It allows me to handle both things, but that means I'm working like 15 hour days, 16 hour days, but it's all cool. I got to grind now that I'm younger, so I got to do what I got to do. And the goal is to slowly scale down as we get there. So um, what else can I chat with you guys about in terms of my observations as you guys are going to this gas station with me? Oh stores that I like to shop at and we're just gonna keep hanging out um, I usually go to ShopRite to go grocery shopping but spa is also kind of like a good one and also Prince Ebano I think is my wife's favorite I think it's kind of my favorite too I think Prince Ebano just has more international items um, and then ShopRite, kind of, Spark, kind of, but I think Prince Ebana has a lot of the unique things that we would need. You guys see, this is what's causing the traffic. Everybody's going to Admiralty, and you guys see now it's free. <laughs> so yeah, so you guys see why I had to merge um, a little bit. And then there's all these downfalls on the right side. One thing that you have to watch out for while driving in Nigeria is also the motorcycles but there are few now if you guys are not aware they have banned Okada in uh, Lagos so there's very little or none no um, like uh, motorcycle riders or Okadas on the street so it actually feels a little bit less anxious to drive because they're always everywhere so it's kind of cool um, although I like the Okadas but they're just very dangerous they don't care so I think it's probably a good thing. Uh, but Okada was just good for the convenience because if you need to go from like point A to point B really quick within a neighborhood, Okada will get you there. But they just caused so much trouble. They had to make a decision. Um, but one thing that I hope the leadership starts doing is not immediately banning things. Like when they need to make the decision, they just ban things. I wish they would take some time to actually work through regulation instead like how can we regulate these people how can we make this a little bit more organized like guys i drove to benin when i was in benin not too long ago a few months ago i was so impressed with the amount of motorcycles on the road but it was so organized some of them had uniforms and some of them had like uh uh oh and a lot of them had their lanes too as well dedicated biking lanes which is cool so i'm going to pinnacle and Let's hope they have gas. So you guys can tell, I actually have not bought gas at gas stations usually, but I wanna do it. And actually, this is my first time. If I'm being honest, it's actually my first time going to do this by myself. <laughs> so that's why I'm taking you guys along this journey with me. And we're going to learn this thing together. Um, this is, again, for every level I'm graduating. Ah, I don't know if they sell gas here. Or... 
We used to live down the street from here at the Blue Waters apartment. So this is like my my hood. And let's go see if they have gas. Oh god, god, wait, 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 wait. Ah, I don't think these people have gas. So. Hello ma, I can't sound. She cooking gas one in Bibai. Cause see ah, okay. I show. Unless this line is moving quicker. Alright guys, there is uh I chose the most chaotic day to do this. I was thinking things would be a little bit more calm. So typically, when we wanna go out and do things, I think I found that, again, when you live, you learn your rhythm, you learn the kind of the culture of the environment. But honestly, what we found to be the best time to go out is around 10 a.m. 10 a.m., things are calm, 11 a.m. But now that it's close to like two or three, Thing starts to get crazy honestly it's even still early i'm thinking 1 1 30 should be a little bit more calm usually but it's not so um that's what's happening sha but anyways i hope that you guys are enjoying the ride so far let me focus and then i will see you guys when we find the gas station peace so a change of plans we're actually going to go to one of the first gas station we went to since i need to change my tank anyways we'll get a brand new tank to hook to my gas stove and then we'll find our, my local guy, my plug, <laughs> to use that to fill the tank up manually, just so you guys can see that process. Um, so hopefully I'm able to show you guys both today. But for now, we're gonna go to the other gas station. Since they blocked that exit, we're just gonna walk in and just buy what we need to buy. All right, guys, we're heading there now. AP. They will leave this for me. So we'll just park our car somewhere here. And that's the entrance over here. Ah, where can I park this car? I'm gonna park it over there. All right, guys, let's go buy a gas canister. Ugh. All right, guys, Whew. what an adventure. Hey. I was... So I need to get a, a cylinder. Do you guys do refills? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, how much is, how, what are the size and how much are they? This one's over here. This one is 12 kilo. Yes. How much is it? Oh, 39. Eh? Three or two? 39.5. Why is it that expensive? No, oh, it's filled. It's filled with the Oh, it's filled with gas, gas already. Okay, 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 okay. So how much is the cylinder itself? We don't sell the cylinder. But if you were to buy it, how much is it? I don't know it. You don't know? Okay. What's the Jale Jale price now? <laughs> <I know. laughs> okay, all right, we'll take one. Okay, sir. Okay. Come in, let me get it. Okay. So, this is Ardo gas. I wonder if that Ardo, that's what the AP means. Um, maybe that one is Ardo petrol. But, anyways, we're going to get a replacement and we're going to use it to hook up to get gas. Um, if we're not able to fill the other one, I will just shoot a video on where to get gas to replace your tank. <laughs> but let's see if we can refill it. So we're just waiting for him. So right now this one is 39k, um, which is a bit on the higher side, I think. Because I think you can typically buy the cylinder. Actually, we're going to find out how much the sell this cylinder is. But usually they're 25k. When you buy stuff in this type of place, the price is usually set. 
there's not usually like a lot of negotiation that happens so anyways but i'm excited to have a brand new tank <laughs> so but these things last us honestly like six months or more because we don't use it uh very often because it's a short let at least a long time maybe three months let me crack it in. so like 55 bucks 55 dollars roughly do you guys do a recycling exchange if we have an empty one no <laughs> okay oh wow it's heavy how do we know it's full that I can't tell, but there I think they, they should have something where they are filling it. Yeah, they have to, to measure it. Okay, all right. POS, I'll be trans. Can I do transfer? Okay, all right. Okay, 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 okay. What bank, sir? Access, sir. Access. And account number? Zero zero. Zero zero. Eight four. Eight four. Two zero. Seven nine. Seven nine. Nine eight. Nine eight. Okay. Love that. Okay. Success. Okay. Confirm it. Okay. All right. Let me send this to you. <laughs> At least my gas tank would look unique. It would be the only green one there. Out with the old, in with the new. Ugh. Before and after. <laughs> so the guy actually said the cost is 39.5. I hope my car starts soon, but it should last, it usually lasts for a while, at least for us three to four months. We also use our apartments for short lets, so it's not always booked all the time, or the people that book are not usually cooking all the time. Even us, we cook less when we're in Nigeria because <laughs> good food is readily available. <laughs> But I do like to cook nowadays a little bit though, to, um, you know, things like breakfast, like scrambled eggs, boiled eggs, um, just little things. Or if I buy stew, sometimes I like to make the eba on my own, um, or make white rice, just little things here and there. So that is the that. And then now let's go see if we can find the local place to refill the tank a little bit so i'll see you guys there all right guys i have my my local plug so we move <laughs> so how much it is no 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 let me this let me call from gooseman yeah so how much you guys to sell this cylinder i got yeah the empty one yeah Twenty-three thousand. Twenty-three thousand. Okay. All right. How much to fill this one up? Yeah. So you feel fill up maybe like two two k for that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, so you don't you want pass? No. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 So how we go take? Say you go where I'm. Okay. All right. So you go way on first to see what's in there first. Okay. So it looks like they'll weigh it first to see what's there so that when they fill it, they can tell the weight difference. I think myself. So said, was, uh, 2 kg. So it's 2 kg. Yeah. So this thing weighed 13.5 with no gas in it. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Plus 2 kg. Plus 2 kg. So you just go plug them. Um, how much we want to buy for that? How much be 2k? How many kg? Nine hundred per kilo. And how many kilo? Twelve kilo nine day for here. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> All right. So it looks like they sell 900 naira per kilo. And there's 12 kilo in here. But I'm just getting 2K worth just for the sake of the demo. Okay. So that's it. And the gas seems to be coming from here. See, they take transfer. Okay. Because I think I forgot my wallet. All right, we're filled. Fantastic. Where are, where are send them again? Okay. All right, guys. So there you have it. That is our local plug. We couldn't take you guys to the gas station, but long story short, they entered the amount, they weighed it, and then they used this to fill the, the gas tank up. And then you see the difference. And that's how you buy gas. <laughs> the local way. I might need your help with this. Ah. all right guys i am back home after that long adventure <laughs> so i got these two tanks so i filled this one a little bit just because i wanted to show you guys a demo but i'll also save this as a backup but this is our fresh new gas and i get to have the most the better looking tank and it's also unique so let's install it back all right so you just press this down and then you install it. Oh, yeah. Wonder. Now, I don't know if this is secure. Maybe you just have to turn. Oh, that's it. Okay. So I held it down and I put it and then I turned it on to secure it and in order to turn it off to remove it you have to turn it off so now that i know on is red we're good to go okay ha my first gas tank ever changed by myself so we have one more step let's go see if what we did worked <laughs> if the gas tank in the kitchen works Come on in guys, moment of truth. Ta-da! All right, so it's time to try this to see if what, if what we did worked. Fire, all right. Woo, we got fire. The fire is low, but we have fire. There we go, guys. Woo, all right. So anyways, let me turn this off. <laughs> that is our journey of going to get gas. Again, thank you guys for joining me on another Life in Lagos episode. I hope that you guys learned a lot and uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you don't know, now you know. Um, and lastly, guys, remember to subscribe if you've been enjoying my content, if you've been watching some of my videos, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video if this was fun. And then lastly, lastly, remember it's your time to rise and let your light shine. Peace.